Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to discuss about restriction enzymes or restriction internucleases. As the name suggests, these enzymes are a group of internucleases which can cleave or cut the double-stranded DNA at a specific nucleotide sequence which is called the restriction site. The cleaving activity can act on irrespective of the species and the source of the DNA. They are mostly produced by bacteria as a defense mechanism against phages. These enzymes act like scissors cutting up the DNA of the phage and thereby inactivating it. These have also been found in green alga, chlorella, etc. Restriction enzymes are a specific class of endonucleases which can recognize a specific base sequence of 4 to 6 nucleotides long and make a cut at that site only which is called the restriction site and those sequences are called the recognition sequences. A question might come in your mind while studying about restriction enzymes that if a bacterial cell produces these enzymes then how can they protect their own DNA from being cut by the restriction enzymes? The fact is restriction enzymes can't cut own DNA as there is a system called restriction modification system. Specific enzymes are present in that bacterium which modifies the restriction sites so that the restriction enzymes can't recognize it. Based on the system, restriction enzymes can be divided into three types. In case of type 1 restriction enzyme, the enzyme is bifunctional with both endonuclease and methylase activity. The enzyme has three different subunits. The cleavage site of type 1 restriction enzyme is random. Example Eco B. In case of type 2 restriction endonuclease, the enzyme is unifunctional and there is a separate enzyme for the methylase activity. Type 2 restriction endonuclease has two identical subunits. It always cuts the DNA at the restriction site only. An example would be Eco R1. And lastly, type 3 restriction endonuclease, which is bifunctional in nature and have two different subunits. It can cut the DNA at 24 to 26 base pair 3 prime to restriction site. Example Eco P1. Most of these recognition sites are with palindromic sequences within the DNA duplex. Well, palindromic sequences are those sequences which read the same from both the directions. That means the two strands of DNA run the same nucleotide sequence but just on the opposite direction, like this. By cleaving, the restriction endonucleases cut both the strands of DNA as the same recognition sequence present on both the strands. It produces staggered cut generating DNA fragments each with single-stranded complementary linker at either end. And as a result, a single-stranded DNA fragment is formed on each end which is a few nucleotides long. They are called single-stranded DNA linker. The single-stranded DNA linkers are complementary to each other. These are called the sticky ends. 
so the sticky ends can pair to each other and can join together by the help of DNA ligase enzyme which helps in reforming the phosphodiester bonds of DNA. This production of complementary sticky ends in DNA fragments to be cloned is important in formation of recombinant DNA. The principle is simply that if two different DNA molecules are cut with the same restriction endonuclease, both will produce fragments with the same complementary sticky ends. So, they can be joined together which make it possible for the formation of recombinant DNA. This is why restriction endonucleases are very important tool for genetic engineering. Examples of such enzymes are ECO R1, HIN D3, BAGEL2, SAL1, etc. However, some restriction endonucleases produce flashcards with blunt ends which lack sticky ends, even flashcards with blunt ends can be altered to make them suitable for making recombinant DNA. Examples of such enzymes are HE3, SMA1, etc. Restriction enzymes are named based on the organism in which they were discovered. Let's take ECO R1 as an example. E is for the genus of the bacterium from which it was discovered. CO or CO came from the genus name Coli. R is for the strain RY13. 1 denotes the order of identification in the bacterium. There are some nomenclatures for advanced learners. Isoschizomars. They are the pairs of restriction enzymes those recognize the same recognition sequence and cut in the same location. For example, ASPH1 and BBU1. Neoschizomars. They are the restriction enzymes, those recognize the same sequence but cut it differently. Example, SMA1 and SMA1. Isocodomars. They are the enzymes those recognize slightly different sequences but produce the same ends. For example, SAU3A and BAMH1 both gives a 5' GATC3' sticky end.